All right, a law that would have allowed non-citizens to vote in local elections in New York was struck down yesterday by a state Supreme Court justice on Staten Island who said that the law, get this, violated the state constitution. The so-called Local Law 11 passed the city council in December. It would have allowed more than 800,000 foreign nationals with green cards, visas, and work permits the ability to vote in citywide elections as long as they've resided in the city for at least 30 consecutive days. Our next guest served as the lead plaintiff in that lawsuit against the city. Borough President Vito Fisella joins us now. Vito, good to see you. Obviously, as far as I look at this, this is not just a win for New York City and residents there, but it, it has implications as far as I'm concerned for cities and towns across the country. So when you filed this lawsuit, were you concerned that if you lost the lawsuit, then non-voting citizens would spread a lot farther and wider? Yeah, there's, first of all, it's good to be with you, Sean. Thank you. And the short answer is yes, of course. Um, and just to back up a little bit, uh, what happened at the tail end of 2021 was the city council passed a law to allow non-citizens the right to vote in local elections. And the New York State Constitution is crystal clear uh, and stipulates that you must be a citizen to vote. So therefore, on the, on the face of it, a non-citizen cannot vote. But yet there, there was an effort to try. And the only solution we had to stop it for the good citizens of Staten Island, New York City, New York State, were to sue them. And, and we did. And common sense prevailed, reason prevailed, which is an unusual trait these days. Uh, and the good people, the good citizens, not only of of New York uh, benefited from this decision, uh, but the rest of the country, because by all means, what was going to happen was if they were successful here in this little beachhead of New York, it would have spread across the country in other cities and other localities. And you mentioned the part about 800,000, some estimate almost a million. Uh, just think about how much the, the vote of an ordinary citizen would by, be di diluted. 800,000 to a million would be one of the largest cities in the country and there were those who feel that if you're a non-citizen, you should be able to vote. We said that sh that should not be the case. It's unconstitutional. And uh, fortunately for now, we, we have prevailed. Were you worried? I know um, I, I, I talked about a lot about your redistricting. And there was concern about Democratic judges. Were you concerned that you were going to get a Democratic judge? Well, we brought it in Richmond County, uh, as you say, it's Staten Island, and it's always a, it's always a uh, possibility, probably a little less likely uh, to be candid on Staten Island because we have a, a one of the few spots in New York City where there are Republican elected officials, including Republican judges. And in this case, I, I think the judge wrote a perfect opinion on all counts. Was struck down. It's not only unconstitutional, but violated state law as well as something called municipal home law. So on all counts, it was dismissed. I would not be surprised if the city brings it up on appeal or brings it to the Court of Appeals because, as you mentioned at the outset, if they can get this done, if they being the proponents of this, can get it done in New York City, there's no reason or stopping from happening in places like San Francisco or other left of, uh, center uh, localities. And the goal is to get as many non-citizen votes as possible and the inclination is they will vote for the other party but most importantly whether it's one or a million is wrong and we won so what about maybe trying it in another borough do you think that the left is going to say okay we couldn't get it done in in, in staten island but maybe we do it in, in manhattan well, we brought it to Supreme Court, and we could have chosen a, a handful of venues. So we chose Richmond County. I'm an elected official, and then we, I was joined by a number of others. Uh, right now, as a matter of, of law, if you will, the case has been affirmed that the, the law is unconstitutional. The next step from a, a legal point of view is to bring it to the appellate division. So you cannot rework the facts. All you can do is talk about the law. If it's appealed, my hope is it will be crystal clear to the appellate division that when you see citizens only can vote, that means non-citizens can't. From the outset, what they said, well, the Constitution doesn't explicitly say non-citizens, but the Constitution doesn't say dogs or Martians can, bar can vote either. So we just think they've, they've got, they overreached, they've gone too far, and uh, you know we're, we're going to stay on top of this thing and be ready for the appeal if it comes. So two kind of quick things. One, did you get a lot of support 
um, from outside? Because I can imagine these lawsuits cost money. And two, was there a lot of folks that, that were paying attention in the sense that call you and saying, hey, Vito, they're trying to do this in my municipality as well? Uh, in the first case, what we had is, uh, fortunately, some local attorneys went off to do it pro bono. Uh, but frankly, the RNC stepped in and said that they saw it, as you saw it, as not just a New York issue, but potentially a national issue that would help to hurt the Republican Party. So they uh, really did a lot of the financial support for the litigation. On uh, the others, we got calls. You know, people are what can I say? People just feel sort of refreshed and rejuvenated that in spite of all the insanity and chaos that's been going on recently, that we finally got some good news and that insanity prevailed. And we did get some calls from other folks to say, if it happens in New York, how do we prepare for it to come and, and say another jurisdiction? So let me ask you this. Um, you won on voting, um, but I know that like, a lot of other benefits, driver's license and other benefits are given up. Do you stop now or do you say, hey, maybe we should challenge some of these other things that are being given to illegal aliens? Illegal I think aliens. it's on a case-by-case -case basis. You know, in this case, it was the state constitution that was explicit that said only citizens can vote. You know, we're coming up on the 4th of July, right? And, and what sprung from the 4th of July ultimately was the U.S. Constitution and, by the way, the New York State Constitution. It's the sovereign voice of the people that decided what is the ultimate law of the land. And what we know, and you know as well as anybody, Sean, is that over time, with, if, the, if the left doesn't get what they want, they just make it up. And then they go into, uh, they say the, the, those words don't mean anything or the Constitution should be thrown out and uh, let's, let's live for today as opposed to what the Founding Fathers wanted us, or this great experiment to be. So on a case-by-case -case basis, we should be able to, uh, to fight it if it doesn't make any sense, if it's unconstitutional or it's illegal, which is what this case was all about. Yeah, I'll tell you, my big thing, I, 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 I think these driver's license are the, the camel's nose under the tent. That to me is the issue. Vito Fasella, congratulations on a big, huge win. I hope Thank everyone you. else looks at what you did and your ability to fight and win and says, I wanna do what you guys did. So congratulations. Thank you very much, Sean. Great, uh, great, you bet. great victory for the citizens of the state, but thank you kindly. You bet. All right, all right. Well, up next, as the left panics about Roe being overturned,